Today, we'll be doing something unimaginable, unlocking Dark Aether for a third time. And throughout this series, I've been taking your guys' suggestions on what weapon to do, what challenge to do, and what to upgrade, but we got a lot of Aether Crystals left over, and we're about to get the final camo, so I'm gonna just go ahead and upgrade everything. Let's see if I actually have enough. Let's see if we're maxed out. All fuel upgrades are done, all perks are done, and all ammo mods are done. We are completely out of crystals. Every single thing is fully upgraded now. Now let's hop in and get this done. So going into this, we needed an AR and an LMG to get Dark Aether. So I went ahead and picked the Farah here and I'll be also doing the Stoner. Now a video or two ago, we went ahead and got three weapons done and we had to hit the box to find other ones, but we got the Stoner right here. All we need to do is get power on to grab it. And like I mentioned previously, I've let you guys choose our challenges and what weapons we do every single time. In our last video, our top comment was from recap saying to do the rpd and to fight an elder ring boss every time i went down but unfortunately we already got the rpd done so that means i get to choose what we do in terms of weapons and for the challenge i really do like the idea of the challenge but we just don't got enough time to do it uh, modern warfare 3 comes out in like not even 24 hours at this point if uh you're on xbox taking a trip to new zealand like i will be doing and i can't just start playing the next cod game without getting dark aether on this account but i do really like this challenge and we'll probably end up doing it another time but we're on a little bit of a time crunch. And speaking of time crunch, let's go ahead and start waking our way towards power. And honestly, I wasn't planning on going for Dark Aether for a third time. It just kind of fell into my lap a little bit. You know, the last few years, like after Cold War ended and we went into Vanguard, I went back to Cold War because I didn't like Vanguard a whole lot. And then this year in Modern Warfare 2, I was kind of falling out of love with the game. Like I already got all my camos done for the multiplayer. I was working on a second account for that game. And then same on the 17th and I decided to hop on and try to get like a high around on Mauer again and the whole like hacker thing happened where people were like booting us offline and there was like big issues with that and I had to make this account to even play Cold War that way I could hide all my credentials and everything and hop on the game without getting booted offline on like either of my accounts and I was like you know what we already we just made this account let's let's start grinding some dark a third the game just came out for free on ps plus there seems to be a little bit of resurgence in this game and I love it so much so let's let's just grind for it again and that's how we ended up going for dark aether for a third time but to be honest I don't know how much I'm gonna be playing cold war once we get into modern warfare 3 grind the rail clean. Little Tony Hawk in between sentences there. But once Modern Warfare 3 comes out, I think I'm gonna be switching my focus to that. I'll be playing that zombies and grinding out those camos. I'll be playing the multiplayer and grinding out those camos. But I'm not gonna completely stop playing Cold War. I still have to get to a million kills on my main account, so I'll still be doing some high round streams. And we'll already have Dark Aether on this one. And for the rest of the weapons that we don't have Dark Aether on, we might do streams of getting it done, but I think I'm done with making videos on this until maybe next summer leading into Treyarch's next game. Like we might do some high round challenge videos or something but i think we're we're all done on getting camos here in cold war i think i've uh you know bled the well dry but from everything i'm hearing from the people that have actually went and played the modern warfare zombies they said that it has everything good with outbreak and everything good with dmz mixed into one and it has a lot of the cold war elements like we're seeing a lot of the cold war perks we're seeing cold war field upgrades cold war actual characters like rabinov in it and i'm excited to see what it's got in store i know it's not round based i know it's a bit different but we're going to be getting round based again in treyarch's next title so i'm not too concerned about it I i'm thinking of this next zombies mode as a little bit of a bonus for Modern Warfare 3. And the camos for the mode look sick. So I, you know I gotta hop in there and unlock those as well. We've been getting the same camos the last three years. So it's time to do something a little bit different. Let's go ahead and grind this rail. Oh, hold on. That was terrible. One more time. Clean. I'll take it. Mimic. Fuck off. And let's get our last reactor online so we can go ahead and pick up our stoner. Because I went ahead and leveled these weapons up. I got our Farah up to level 50. So that means I can get all the camos done for the far right away. But for our stoner, I only have it up to level 47. I didn't want to get too much stuff done for the stoner, but I did want to get it as leveled up as I could. And that's just around where I could get as many levels as possible without getting all the camos done. And now that we got power on, let's go pick it up. So give me the stoner. I'll be taking that. And this time I was actually smart enough to think of grabbing a custom mod. That way I have all my grinding attachments on this and we're going to work on the stoner first. So I feel like levels are going to be a little bit more difficult to get on a higher round. Well, let's go ahead and buy Deadshot because we have a lot of crits to get between these two guns. I think we need like 3000 because so our far is only at like 750 crits or something like that. And our stoner is like a little over 1500. So we got a lot of work to do, but we need this bunny to go ahead and transport us over there so we can get some free jug. There we go. Come on over. Now, first bunny gone sleep 
Oh, there's our boundary camo. So, oh, we weren't even at 1,500 crits with a stoner. We just hit 750. So we're going to need to grind today. We might be playing until like round 50 if we can survive that long. Now, I'm thinking the next perk we need is stamina up because this stoner is slow. But that should be our last bunny right there. A mimic, let go. Almost took me out right at the end there. But go ahead, give me the Ray K from the chest, even though we're not going to touch it. Nope, RPG. Basically the same thing. Let's go ahead and get this pack a punch right away. So we can start working on the pack punch camos as well. And I think I'm just going to chill here until either our first uh, assault wave or until I got enough money to buy some perks. It was level 48. We still need two more levels with this. I wonder how much XP Orta gives. Hopefully we won't. We still won't need to get to level 50 when we're fighting Orta. But if we do, I hope he helps out. And Orta's going to be getting fucked up a lot today. We got two guns to get done. Going to fuck him with both of them. And there's our first assault wave. Took him long enough. And how nice of these zombies to come at me from a single file line makes the crits a little bit easier but these first assault waves are always a joke it's always just easy kills here's a free carpenter here's a max ammo and be on your way and there's our 1500 kills while packed so we still need a thousand more kills just while packed maybe i underestimated the amount of uh camos i had done for this and i guess now that we got all the perks that we need and our guns already pack a punch we can go sit in kernels until we got enough money to pack punch again what's up gentlemen Let's get back to grinding. Honestly, I think I might turn on the Rampage Inducer. These zombies are a little bit slow. We need to speed things up a bit. And maybe spice things up a bit. You know what? I'm going to go do that. We got a lot of camos to get today. Let's speed it up. Might grab Cryo Freeze first, though, to slow them down while they're sped up. Let's hope I don't die after turning this on. There we go. All right, zombies. Meet me back at Colonel's. All right, now we can get some real grinding done. Now let's just hope that the Mangler doesn't get stuck so often. That's like the one downside of this spot. Oh, I miss grinding in kernels. Just seeing the big wall of yellow text from every zombie coming at you in a straight line is beautiful. And it didn't even take a round for this mangler to get stuck. How was this never fixed? This was like a problem when the map came out. I think they just did it to piss people off that would camp in kernels. But if that keeps happening like often, we might move over to like weapon bay just to avoid it. As much as I love kernels, it's not without its issues. I think the cocksucker's already stuck again. You know, while you're sitting there, I'm going to go get pack a punch. You fix it yourself. All right, Rabinoff. Fix my gun the Aki way. Is he stuck over here too? What's your problem, Mangler? Bro just enjoys living outside the map. He's a pacifist. And since I think I will be switching to Weapon Bay, I'm gonna grab a Chopper Gunner as my oh shit button just in case. Oh, look who decided to join us. Well, bitch, let's set up shop in here. The only thing I'm kind of scared of in here is how many Mimics and Manglers we get because they are way too fucking strong. And we need rings of fire to take them out. And there's our rotten camo. So all of our normal kills, done. Everything else, need to get done. Oh, you know what? I just thought about it. Maybe turn on the Rampage Inducer was a bad idea. So I'm pretty sure you get less XP per zombie with the Rampage Inducer on. But we got too many camos to get. Maybe with all the killing we're doing and the camos we're unlocking, it might offset it. And we get another assault wave. I just wish that they didn't do any assault waves on round 10 and 20. And they just did it when Orta showed up. Because that would have been sick playing this map for the first time. And like, oh man, I made it to round 30. And then like all of a sudden a big ass monster shows up. Along with his army of the undead. Instead of just little like teasers. I love how these zombies like follow the rules of the trenches and they'll run all the way around it like through the pathways instead of just climbing over everything. They're very orderly, but that was such an easy assault wave. Oh, there's our threshold camo. So when we're at 1,844 crits, we'll be done with the stoner and we can move on to the Farah. There's level 49, we need one more level. We're almost there. Oh, there's our chemical camo. Pack-a-punch kills are done. Like all we need is crits and our jackrabbits. We'll see which one comes first. Oh, that was such a clutch nuke. I was about to die. And there's Orda. We got some money to spare, though, so we'll make a pit stop on our way there. Bars. Oh, and Orda's making his landing. I'm almost there. Don't worry, Orda. I'm coming. Where's he at? Where's his bitch ass at? You better lube up that Ordussy, Orda. You're getting fucked for a while today. Fuck it. Let's just hit the ring of fire on him now. We're hitting 1,400, 1,500 damage. Zombies. We're kind of in the middle of something here. Oh, they're kind of fucking up power. Oh, he's critting. Let me in there. Zombies, please, for one minute. Leave me alone. We missed the full crit. All right, hold on. I gotta take care of business. Leave power alone. All right, now we can talk, Orda. Go ahead and crit one more time for me. And yeah, we got another ring of fire. Let's just fuck them. See you later, Orda. Until next time, dipshit. And I think we're still not level 50 with this gun. Our worst nightmare has come true. Is we're at level 49 and a quarter. If that. No. Leave me alone. Fuck. Okay, well, good thing this is like the end of the round. Let's kill this zombie and let's go get our perks back. A perfectly timed down.
a very strategic down. But give me all of my perks back. Oh, I accidentally bought elemental pop. You know what? It probably helps at this point. We're getting high up there in rounds. And with the amount we need to reload, that little electric cherry might help out. And we get Orta again. So we're getting Orta twice before this is level 50. That's crazy. You get no XP in round based at all. Now let's see if we can just clean order real quick. I think we're gonna have to end up fighting him like four times today because we're not done with this yet. Oh, we're pretty close actually. We just need about like 44 more crits. We actually might get it done during this assault wave, but we still need to get so many more for the Farah. Let's use our ring of fire now before all the zombies get up here. We're hitting a nice 2k damage on him. 2100. Already got him to half health. Zombies, stop hitting me. Stop it. Oh, now he's critting. I think I saw 4,500 there while a ring of fire was slightly active. And let's just finish him off. Not sexually, but he is about to bust. Later, bitch. Now, please give me level 50. Or give me gold viper right here. Nope. We finished it too fast. Oh, there's our banish camo. So we are all done with our crits. We just need to level up one more time just to get our jackrabbits done. This is cruel. We're in like camo limbo. We're getting no progress until this thing is leveled up. No! There's still a lot of zombies out here. I might just have to self-revive because I don't even know if I can get close enough to a zombie to electric cherry them, actually. Come here, pal. There we go. Zombie, get off me! No! Ooh! Relax! I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna get close to the perk machine. And I'm hitting my chopper gunner. So let's do it right now. Let's try to wipe these dudes out. Where the fuck am I? Oh, over here. Honestly, I don't think I've ever used a chopper gunner on this side of the map. Okay, there's not that many zombies left. Oh, there's still actually a lot. I got out of that chopper gunner way early. Ooh, and we might pay for it. No, we're not. I'm the greatest. Trained right around. No issue. And I almost have two ring of fires now. I don't know how the fuck that happened. You might get to order three times before this is done, which is bogus. Because I want to stop using this and start using the Farah because I can actually start getting camos for it. But if I stop using it, I can't get XP. It's a catch 22. If we make it up to round 50 before we hit level 50, I'm just doing the fucking Farah and we're going to hop into Onslaught when all this is over. Why they got to make weapon XP so fucking hard to get in this game? I should have a lot of XP for this weapon, getting almost 3,000 kills with it in one game. We're going to get our fucking sharpshooter badge on this before we even get it to level 50. This is criminal. Criminal weapon XP theft. Yep, there's our sharpshooter badge. This is fucked up. Oh, damn it. Went down with the ring of fire active. Embarrassing. Buy all the perks back. Hit the chopper gunner. All the zombies are hiding indoors from the aerial carnage. Let's grab our armor. Let's get the fuck out of this building. And we're only two rounds away from switching weapons. What's our XP at? Come on, dude. This is ridiculous. If somebody ever tells you to grind out XP in round base, show them this. And that's round fucking 50. Our third battle with Orta, and we're still not level 50. Okay, we'll see if Orta gives us any XP, and if not, we're switching to the Farah. Haven't you had enough yet, Orta? How many ass kickings do you need? We'll just light you up. Already doing crazy damage to you. The stoner is actually fucking great for taking Orta out. Basically, any LMG destroys him. Oh, he's critting. Come on. Give me my ring of fire right now. Damn, we haven't caught one single crit session while we had a ring of fire up, but this should do it for him. See you later, Orta. Dumb bitch. Am I level 50 yet? Nope. I don't think so. I don't even think the XP bar has moved. They're really making us work for this one. All right, we'll, we'll come back to that. We got to get some shit done for the Farah. Otherwise, we'll be here until like round 200. There's our Manic Camo or Maniac, whatever the fuck. I still can't pronounce it right to this day. So we have all of our elites done. There's our Entropathy Camo. Look at that. We're seeing Jackrabbit Camos. The stoner could never. There's our chemical. All done with our pack of much kills. Crazy seeing camos pop up again. Oh, there's our conviction. All done with jackrabbits. We still got a lot of critical kills to go though. And the rampage inducer is over. Holy fuck. There's our threshold camo. Holy shit, we still need a thousand from here. So we're at 4,000 crits. We'll be done with this gun. And we still need to get another level on the stoner. We're gonna be in this game for a while. Fuck. There we go. Really got back up. Almost jumped down into a horde. We're still going for now. I'm going to use my chopper gunner before we go through the portal. That way I can actually take some of these zombies out before they run and hide and take shelter. Oh, shit. That still wasn't enough. It's still not enough. We still need 600 more crits. We can't be dying like this. Let's see if we can go over here and craft something to help us out. There's that. Let's throw this. 
eat them up. Let's get another chopper gunner. Some more nades. I am out of green scrap now. <sighs> Only 10 health. Hit the portal. And that should be the round. Cool. If we get Orta. And I don't even have enough scrap to repair my armor. So uh, we're gonna have to wait for this carpenter at the end of the round. Come on down. Let's see if this can do anything against him. Where are you at? I did that a little too early, I think. Oh, wait, no, there he is. It does about like 2,000, just a little bit less than what the stoner would do. Got him down to half health with one ring of fire, a little less than that. He's getting cooked. And I got cooked. What the fuck? Immediately. Let's just use our self-revive, I guess. Can I have this cruise missile, please? I'm going to use it just to take all these zombies out. Give me my chopper gunner back. I'm going to use that too. Going to do nothing against Orta. Yeah, 50 damage crazy. It's kind of bogus how these streaks do nothing to order. Can we still take them out though? We might be able to. We're cutting it a little close though. Oh, that should do it. Don't even matter if we go down. We're still fucking up order. No! Oh, that's really not good. I don't think we can get back up. This round's about to end. Zombie, you're my only hope. Oh, we're doing no damage either. That's bad. I should be able to get up from quick revive from downing order like that. Fuck. It's round 64. I think this is the furthest we've ever gone just grinding camos. But you know what? This is probably for the better. If we die right here, we can just hop into a game of Onslaught, get our stoner done. Oh, we still need to do the Farah though. I don't even know how we're going to get the Farah. Fuck. Well, that's game. Can't say I didn't try though. We have 721,000 score, 5,931 eliminations, 3,486 crits, no revives, and seven downs. Absolutely insane game for camo grinding. And we got neither of the guns done. How close are we on these guns? So for our Farah, we need 600 more crits and that's it. And for the stoner, we need one more level and a bunch of jackrabbits. This is dumb. You know what? Actually, I think I, I know how we're gonna get this done. We're going forsaken and go in the first room until we get our stoner done. And then we might actually just do the same thing with the Farah. Oh, there's level 50 it took. 34 kills on round four to get the level. Not 3,000 kills on round 40 plus. So I'm switching our field upgrade to Aether Shroud and we should be able to get our Jackrabbits a lot easier that way. There's our Corrosion Camo, let's go! Getting Jackrabbit Camos. Something to be excited about. Oh, and there's LMG's Diamond, let's fucking go. About time. All right, get me out of here. And we got to level 51. You get so much more XP at a lower round than you would at a higher one so i guess don't try to fucking grind levels past round 15. <sighs> now we just have one gun left and i think to finish it we actually might do it an onslaught just to speed run it now all we need is 600 crits let's hope that we get dead shot as one of our first perks this will probably be faster than trying to get set up on another round based map okay let's beat the fuck out of this elite real quick see a mimic thanks for stopping by but we don't need you and we get jug Damn it. Another elite. About to get fucked up. And oh, we get dead shot. Let's go. Beautiful. I just gotta sit back, relax, and grind these out. You know, as our Dark Aether journey is coming to an end on this account here, I just wanted to say I've had a lot of fun this time around the sun. Or this time around the, the Dark Aether. You know, a lot of the challenges you guys have given me and the, the weapon suggestions and all that have been great. Uh, a lot of the challenges have been very weird, but very fun. You know, I've, I definitely put out my weirdest videos like ever during this whole challenge, this whole series, but also some of the most fun videos that I've made. So I just want to thank you guys. I appreciate you coming on this journey with me. And let's go ahead and get Dark Aether for a third time. And this should be our final surge right here. We're getting very close to getting it done. There's a level up. Is that Dark Aether? Bunch of medals. There it is. It's still funny how it shows up as Dark Matter. We now have Dark Aether on three different accounts. Fucking crazy. And there's our gold viper. All right. I'm putting down a sentry gun, but you can just take me out. You earned it, Mangler. And our final game comes to an end here with 31,000 score, 819 eliminations, 631 crits, and three downs to get us out of there. And since we only played like a little bit of multiplayer, we've mainly played zombies on here. Let's see what our final stats are looking like to get Dark Aether. We have six total days on this account, five of them being on zombies, one day on multiplayer. We have a total of 192,000 eliminations, only killed 736 elites. That seems low. We average about a thousand eliminations a game, getting 80,000 critical kills. The game where we got our most eliminations is 13,000. You know, we did do a few round 100s on this account. And if we look at our leaderboards for zombies, might give us some more stats here. So out of everybody I have on my friends list, 
which is a lot because I was adding a lot of viewers on here. I'm ranked 26. Obviously, I did it on purpose. For critical kills, I'm ranked 20. For rounds, I'm ranked 33. On D Machina, I'm ranked 4th. Firebase D, I'm ranked 4th. Mauer, I'm ranked 5th. And Forsaken, I'm ranked 6th. What about Onslaught? I am unranked because I only played Onslaught Containment. And for Outbreak, which I did play a decent amount of for leveling up, we are ranked 15th with our highest region being 6th. And we can take a nice little look at our well-earned Dark Aether. One of the better looking camos in COD history, I think, honestly. Definitely one of my favorites. It's between like this and Damascus, and I think this might beat it. And then another look on a different weapon. We can see it here on our M16. Beautiful gun, beautiful camo, and I'm glad that we got it done again. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and thank you for coming with me on this journey again. And let's hope MW3 is good. See you guys in the next one. Later.